Welcome race fans to race 2 of the 2001 NASCAR Showdown Cup Series season. We're here on the Blue Ridge Parkway for the second running of the North Carolina 400. 43 cars come to tackle the second running. So let's go down trackside and look at some storylines entering the race. Dale Earnhardt comes in today on the pole after having a horrible day last week in Denver. Let's see if he can win the race from the pole. Bobby Labonte, the defending champion, starts third for today's race. Let's see if he can get some points and go back-to-back -back on the titles. The number 76 repping the Mars candy brand today is second in the point standings. Now that Marlin is far back in the pack, let's see if the 76 will pounce on the opportunity to gain a lot of points today. Danny Stewart, a little deep in the pack today, starts ninth. He finished second last week, and well, last season's champion Bobby Labonte also finished second in that race in 2000, and he went on to win the 2000 championship. Let's see if Tony Stewart can continue that stride today. Sterling Marlin starts 18th today, way deep in the pack, on the outside too. He's going to need to do a lot in order to maintain the points lead leaving this race. Last story coming into this week, Ashley Garcia driving for the number 22 team in the NASCAR Bush Series for TriStar Motorsports, decides that at the end of the season, she will be leaving TriStar to move up with Chip Ganassi Racing in the Cup Series. And you see Dodge and Chip Ganassi Racing giving her some early starts as she will take the 0-1 and start 43rd on the grid for today's race. Let's go trackside for the command. Drivers, start your engines! And as the cars roll off, let's take a look at your STP starting grid. In row one, we have Dale Earnhardt and Mark Martin. In row two, we have Bobby Labonte and Ward Burton. In row three, we have Jeff Gordon and Joshua Santiago. Back in row four, we have Terry Labonte and Dale Earnhardt Jr. Row five, to round out the top ten, Tony Stewart and Jeff Green driving the Mach 1 machine there. Row six, Ricky Rudd and Jeff Burton. Row 7, Bill Elliott and Dale Jarrett. Row 8, Mike Skinner and Rusty Wallace. Row 9, Michael Waltrip and last race winner Sterling Marlin. Row 10, ran out the top 20, Casey Atwood and Amelia. Row 11, Jeremy Mayfield and Elliott Sadler. Row 12, Johnny Benton and Steve Park. Back in row 13, Jerry Nadu, Ken Schrader. One row behind them, John Andretti and Sofia Vasquez. Row 15, Kurt Busch and Kevin Harvick making his NASCAR Showdown Cup Series debut. Row 16, Ricky Craven and Matt Kenseth. Row 17, Valerie Sanchez and Leah Sanchez. Drivers have no relation to each other. Row 18, Brett Bodine and Bobby Hamilton. Row 19, Matt Travis and Buckshot Jones. Row 20, Kyle Petty and Stacey Compton. Row 21, Dave Blaney and Robert Presley. Back in row 22, rounding out the field, Ashley Garcia. And here we go, green flag in the air. And highways in North Carolina, Dale Earnhardt is your current leader as he starts to pull away from Bobby Labonte. But I would not count Labonte out. He has a fast Pontiac here. As you see already, the gap between the leader and the last place car ever so thinking at this tiny facility. Bobby Labonte moves Earnhardt there. Now Labonte goes to the lead. Earnhardt going to fall back into a comfortable P2. There goes Santiago up to P3 ahead of Gordon. This car is flying by once again. Labonte getting ever so close to the back bumper of Presley. There he goes to the inside. Now he's going to start putting cars a lot down left and right. As at this stage in the race, you really have nothing to hope for if you're slow and on the outside. You have no way to help yourself here. Oh, and a few cars go around. Earnhardt spawned the 43. 
payback from last week. Earnhardt is not messing around here. Showing Andretti the business. As the 76 going to lose a quite considerable amount of spots on pit road. Let's see if he can make them back up here as the green flags back out. And there's a crash immediately. Crash off the restart. Horrible for all those guys. As Labani once again off the restart, going to presume the lead with the 76 hot on his heels. Earnhardt went back to th uh, third on that last uh, stint. Santiago down the lead, or down to the inside to the lead. Passing Labani. He's going to get it done. There goes Stewart up to third. Pontiacs are uncontested here today. Clearly the dominant manufacturer. There goes Earnhardt on the outside, dropping back a lot of spots. Even more there as you saw in that last uh, flyby. Even getting passed by Dale Jr. back there. The 76 continues to lead laps and get those bonus points. And there's another crash back there. That one was uh, Marlon and uh, the 17 to Kenza. Some more cars are going to pit this time. Back green flag racing here. Tony Stewart, your new leader. Uh, he's going to try to turn some laps. As there goes the 45 into the 33. And I think one other car got collected there. The caution is back out yet again. Green flag's back in the air. The caution off the restart yet again. That involved about five or six cars there, maybe. And the green flag is out once again. Let's see. Let's hope we... Let's hope we can get a good run this time as Stewart still out in the lead getting those valuable bonus points. And 76 down to the inside. Same story, new verse. And the 76 back to the lead trying to get more bonus points to try to get the points lead after today. And there's a crash in the back. Four cars involved there. And the 76 still leads. There goes Stewart passing the 76. Will he have enough time to pass him back here? He might just have enough time. We're not sure as we get to the closing stages of this race. Doesn't look like he's going to go for the pass. There he goes. He goes for the pass. He made the pass. White flags in the air. Now Labonte goes for the pass. Labonte takes the lead in turn three, off of turn four. Bobby Labonte's going to win it. Thank you all for tuning in to the North Carolina 400. But before we go, we want to get to the point standings and show you where your favorite driver ranks among the rest. After today's race, we have a new points leader. Joshua Santiago, 90 points up to the lead with all the laps he led today. Will he be able to keep it? Probably not. He's only a rookie. Second back. We have Bobby Labonte, 87 points. In third is teammate Tony Stewart, 83 points. In fourth, Sterling Marlin dropped a lot of spots after DNF and early in this race. He has 72 points. Michael Walter back in fifth, 64. Earnhardt Jr. in sixth, 64 points. Casey Atwood, 59 points back in seventh. Jeff Burton and Ward Burton, 58 points for Jeff. 54 points for Ward. 8th and ninth is where they sit. Uh, Mark Martin. 
back in 10th, 53 points. We have a three-way tie for 10th, actually, with Ricky Rudd, uh, Mark Martin, as we mentioned before, and Johnny Benson, all at 53 apiece. Back in 13th, uh, Bill Elliott with 50 points. Ricky Craven back in 14th with 47 points. Mike Skinner climbs just a little bit, uh, 42 points back in 15th. 16th, his teammate, uh, the Intimidator Dale Earnhardt, 41 points. And Jeremy Mayfield tied with Earnhardt uh, for 41 points. And 18th is Kurt Busch, 37 points. That is the top 18 in points. And with that being said, we'll see you next week. But before we tune off for good, we ask you to tune into next week's race at Langhorn, where the NASCAR Cup Series will return to racing for the first time since 1957. With that being said, we're tuning out from North Carolina.